New details tonight in the beating of a jail guard at the hands of an inmate caught on camera. And we do want to warn you, some of the video is graphic. Our Charlie DeMar is live at the Cook County Jail hearing from union leaders about their safety concerns. Charlie? And Joe, good evening. The union representing correctional officers here at the Cook County Jail say that guard who was ultimately beaten up was ordered by a supervisor to do a safety check inside one of the dorms all alone without backup. They say that's a clear violation of department policies. As this Cook County probationary correctional officer made his safety round Sunday night, he suddenly sucker punched by an inmate who then begins to stomp on the officer's head. The beatdown comes to an end only after another inmate appears to step in. The sheriff's own staff didn't follow his own protocols. Anthony McGee with Teamsters Local 700 used to be a Cook County correctional officer. He says a supervisor violated jail policies when he ordered the guard to do a safety check of the dorm by himself without backup or any other officers on the same floor. The surveillance video was provided by the union. The supervisor could have simply left the building that they were in from the comforts of their own office walked over there and served as backup for this officer. They chose not to do that. After the incident, the union says 911 was never called and the recently hired guard waited for hours before he was seen at the jail medical facility. Fair to say you, you believe that this incident could have been avoided altogether. Absolutely. The Cook County Sheriff's Office says we are thankful our officer was not severely injured and was able to walk away from this incident. Individuals in custody who attack our staff will be prosecuted. Malik Daniel was charged for the beating, now faced with aggravated battery to a peace officer. The same charges the 28-year-old was being held on. A mistake like that clearly could be detrimental to one's ability to go home to their family. Fortunately, that correctional officer was able to walk away without major or serious injuries. The Cook County Sheriff's Office says they are now investigating whether or not any internal policies were violated. Reporting live tonight from the Cook County Jail, Charlie DeMar, CBS News Chicago. Erica. Thank you, Charlie.